Good evening, brothers and sisters. I welcome you in the house of the Lord. I welcome you in the presence of the Lord. With, it is my Friday, my time with God. I trust that the Lord protected you with his light during this week and that we allowed God's light to lead us during this week to show us his ways, to show us his will for our lives. I trust that we walked closely in his presence during this week and that the light that was shining in our lives, that that light showed us the path that God wants us to move into 2021. Dear brothers and sisters, this evening I want to share with you something that I learned as a small child, a little boy, in the, as I grew up in the Acadia Moravian Church. My father was a preacher in that congregation. And whenever he preached on a Sunday or Sunday evening or Wednesday evenings, he will use illustrations or tell us a short story so that we as children of the congregation could understand also the message. And I can clearly remember one specific story that he also shared with the congregation. A story about a hymn that was written by a famous songwriter. A hymn that we all are familiar with. About a man called Augustus Topley. Augustus Topley was a preacher, a minister in the Calvinist church in England. And one evening, when he went home from a crusade, he was caught up in a heavy storm. As he was trying to hide himself, to find shelter, the only thing that he could find was a big rock. And lucky for him, there was enough space for him between the rock to find shelter. While he was sitting inside this rock, he started to write this famous hymn. Rock of ages, cleft for me. Let me hide myself in thee. This evening, dear brothers and sisters, our text that we will meditate on and ask God to come and show us his grace and his love and his faithfulness is taken from our daily watchword, the text for this day, for Friday the 8th of January, from the book of Psalm 62, verse 6. God alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be shaken. When we listen to these words, we remind ourselves that we do not have to fear, we do not have to be anxious, we do not have to be afraid, because God is our fortress. God is our rock, and He will deliver us. As we journey through life, and as we spend time in the presence of the Lord, let us all just focus on how great God has been and how faithful He has been to all of us. So that we can also experience what Augustus Stopley experienced, shelter in times of problems, shelter in times of troubles, shelter in times when there's rainy days, when there's days that are dark in our lives, when we are overshadowed with our problems and our fears, that God provides, that He gives shelter when we call upon Him, that He shows us as Augustus Topley was sitting inside this rock, 
when he experiences warmth and safety. That is our God. And that is what God can do for all of us. So as we just focusing on the flame of the candle this evening, let us remind ourselves of who God is in our lives. I've been walking around this whole week trying to find the right words to share with you. And I went outside and I picked up this little stone. And this little stone reminds me also, dear brothers and sisters, of who God is. Solid, firm, unbreakable. I also want you during this week, this coming week, to go outside and pick up a stone so that you can also be reminded of what God can do in your life. Finding shelter in times of trouble, shelter in times when there's dark days clouding us. When there's rainy days, the Lord is our rock. He's our fortress. He's our deliverance. We shall not fear. We shall not be shaken. We will not be afraid of the coronavirus. We will not be afraid of any enemy that wants to destroy our lives. Because in God we find our protection. Augustus Topley found his protection, his shelter in a rock. Today, King David also wants to remind us that God is our deliverance. God is our fortress. God is our rock. We shall not fear. We shall not be shaken. Let us allow ourselves to meditate, dear brothers and sisters, on the presence of God and the meaning of God in our lives. How God has guided us, how God has protected us, how God has given us shelter in times of darkness. Let us give ourselves to our Lord and Saviour. Let us pray. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable to you, my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord, for this time of prayer. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that we can experience you in our lives. Thank you, Father God, that you have protected us during this week and that you have shown us the light. This evening, Lord, we come with thankfulness to you and we stand in your presence in this evening asking, Lord, to come and be our rock. Be our fortress be our deliverance. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that we know in this evening that we shall not fear and we shall not be anxious and we shall not be worried for you are with us. Lord, even if there are dark days and dark times in our lives, as you have given shelter in a stormy day for Augustus Stopley, 
you will give us also shelter and protection. Lord, let us fix our eyes on you, the rock, the rock of ages, the everlasting rock, the immovable rock, the solid rock, the, the rock that is eternal. Come, Lord, and reveal your strength in our weaknesses. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that as we are meditating and as we are praying, allow your Holy Spirit to come over all of us in this evening so that we can experience you as our Savior, as our Messiah, as our Redeemer. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that you are our Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, we give ourselves to you on this Friday evening, our time with you. Fill us, Lord. Break us down. Show us the path that you want us to go in. Lord, give us the strength so that we can lean on you. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus. Do not pass us. Do not leave us. Do not forsake us. But hold, help us and hold us in your hand. Show us your grace, your peace, and your love. Lord, in this evening, we just want to recommit ourselves to you. We want to dedicate ourselves to you. We pray, Lord, that you protect our families, our loved ones, that you protect our communities, our country. We pray this evening, Lord, for the leadership of our church, our beloved Moravian church. We pray for guidance, for wisdom, as it is a new year for them, Lord, and for, us, for all of us. We pray that you will lead them with your Holy Spirit so that they can lead us as congregants, as congregations into the ministry that you want us to go into. We know, Lord, it is difficult for them and they are working under immense pressure. But you are their rock. You are their fortress. You are their deliverance. We pray for our bishops that you give them guidance, Lord, so that they can continue their spiritual work amongst the workers, amongst the congregants, so that they can lead us to a spiritual renewal and a renewed life, Lord. We pray for our district councils, our executives. We pray for our unions. We pray for our church councils. We pray for the finance director, Lord Jesus, that you also give her the patience, the love, and the courage to continue with her work. Lord, we pray in this evening, and we ask that you continue to come and show us your favor in each and every one of our lives. Fill us, Lord, with your Holy Spirit. We pray this in the almighty name of Jesus Christ with thanksgiving. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, tonight we concentrate on the rock and not so much on the flame of God. Jesus Christ, He is our rock. He is our fortress. He is our deliverance. We shall not fear. We shall not be afraid. We shall not worry. We shall not be anxious. For God did not give us a spirit of fear, but one of love and peace. May we all experience His peace, His love, His grace, as we build our faith on Him, the Rock of Ages, 
the solid rock, the eternal rock, the everlasting rock. May the Lord bless us. And may the Lord give us his peace for now and forever. This is my Friday, my time with God. I thank you very, very much. Have a blessed day, a blessed evening, a blessed weekend. Don't forget to pick up your rock and walk with that rock so that you can be reminded of who Jesus Christ is in your life. Thank you and be blessed, keep safe, keep healthy and walk in the Spirit of God. Amen.